If repeatedly exposed to Group A beta hemolytic streptococcus, though, the body continues to launch immune attacks against the various tissues, but most notably the heart tissue, which can lead to chronic rheumatic heart disease. With chronic rheumatic heart disease, the valves, typically the mitral valve, but sometimes the aortic valve, develop scar tissue from repeated inflammation. The leaflets of the valves become thicker and can actually fuse together, called commiseral fusion. Also, the chordae tendinii, which are attached to the valves, can become thickened as well. These changes can cause complication with the valves, most commonly regurgitation, meaning that they don't close all the way. This can progress to stenosis, or narrowing of the opening, sometimes called fish mouth stenosis or buttonhole stenosis. Sign up for a free trial today and watch the full video on osmosis.org.